What's cooking guys? It's the Saluki back again. And today, the f check engine. So today we're going on an adventure to one of England's most isolated villages in Northumberland County, the northernmost country county in England, right near the Scottish border. And we were going to the village of Chatton. The village of Chatton is so remote and isolated that it takes about an hour in public transport or 20 minutes in a car to go to any major shopping center to go and get your asshole bleached you know the necessities the basic necessities so let's go and see what it's like join me <laughs> i wish we had better weather to see it all I was, as I was driving into Chatton, I came across this lady that was feeding the horses. Hello. Hello. Um, do, you, do you live here? Yeah, Hello. just in the village. Yeah, and what's, what's it like here? Can yeah, I say hi to your dog? Very quiet. <laughs> yeah, she's fine. I've just had a pet. Yeah, I was born here. I moved away for a long time and then came back again. Yeah, so you moved to like the big city and came back to the village life? I moved to Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Saluki. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Have a good day, thanks. Okay guys, we finally made it to Chatton in one piece with the Fiat Punto in one piece as well. So a lot of people were asking me about this. As you probably know, in Israel and in most of the world where I've been driving, you drive on the right. And in England, you drive on the left. I had a tendency to stick too much to the left. I don't know why I can't explain it. And then I bashed my mirror. But I'll fix it someday when I have the funds. Notice the hipped roofs out here in Chatton with roof tiles. The village is said to be built in the 19th century, mainly, most of it. Chatton Village Store. This is where they probably get their basic goods. Well, it seems that we just missed it by 10 minutes. Can't believe it. But we can have a look here through the window. It can be window shoppers for a bit. It seems like they sell a bit of groceries, some cheese, vegetables. And they do respect social distancing here as well, which is nice. Let's go for a little walk and see if we can't talk to any more locals. Of all Chatton. Chatton. I like that name. Percy Arms Hotel. Car Park. I've heard of the Percy Arms Pub. Let's go have a look. These rooftops look like they're very climbable and parkourable. I would love to go and uh, jump around these. But it seems like... I'm not the, pers the first person that thought so because uh, <laughs> they have CCTV in operation. This looks like it's the entrance to the Percy Arms, the world famous Chatton Village Bar. See if we can get a pint. Cheers. They weren't very happy with me filming in here and they wanted me to hand out forms but I guess we'll just have a drink and get out of here. So I asked about this beer and he said it's Canadian but it's brewed here in England in the Midlands. Not too f***ing shabby. Okay, it seems as if the sun is up so let's get out of here before it goes away. <sighs> One moment it's pissing down and the other moment it's nice and sunny. Here is Chatton's World War 1 and 2 memorial for the British soldiers who lost their lives in the two great wars. Every village in England is said to have one. Here is the Chatton bus stop. I bet they only have one in all of the village. Let's see how often buses come around here. So basically a bus to leave the village comes about four times a day 
Imagine living here with no car. This is the Chatton Village Hall. I was misled because I saw a sign that said school. Anyone up for an interview? Guys? No luck. Okay, we found a delivery guy here, Saeed. Oh, yeah. okay Hi. There. And uh, have you ever been to Chatham before? What do you think about it? Yeah, I do. I do deliveries here on a regular basis. It's, it's absolutely lovely. It's an open space and beautiful, beautiful area. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful it is. Yeah. The views, the people, even the people, the really nice people, lovely people. Yeah, I'm trying to get interviews with them, but it's not going so well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't get to see them very much, you see. They're out, they're out in the big houses, you know. Thank you. Nice to meet you. No problem. Cheers. Buddy. I'm Saluki. Okay. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet Cheers. You, um, what, <laughs> what was your name? Uh, Claire. Claire, okay. And uh, were you born here or...? No, I was born in Newcastle. We've been here for about 12 years. Yeah. And why did you decide to move here to rural England? Um, just the pace of life. It's really friendly. Everybody... Um, it's really good neighbours and looks out for each other and it's just nice and quiet. Alright guys, I have to drive a bit out of the village in order to get the connection to be strong enough to set my Google Maps up. somewhere with reception so uh, while we're here and the car still hasn't broken down yet I thought we should go to Bambra Castle. Bambra Castle is a castle that was originally built in the 5th century but it was tossed around between the Celtic Britons and Anglo-Saxons about three different times the wind situation is egregious so I'll say a few more words about the castle while we're still in the car it was um, later in the 10th century destroyed by the Vikings completely and then rebuilt by the Normans. Obviously it's been restored a few times since, but this is the core of the rebuild from the 10th century. Let's go check it out. Okay, that's enough. I mean, I don't really care about the inside of these castles because it's almost... It's almost pretty much the same. I mean, I've seen so many around Europe. Anyway, let's go and explore the coast. Who knew England would have such great beaches? You can see the castle coming from the sea. So imagine the Vikings coming in from the sea, sailing in, and then seeing the castle and pillaging it. Do you reckon it's all right for a swim? No. <laughs> so there's plenty of people at the beach enjoying their Saturday, but I don't see not one of them going for a swim. I suppose it's pretty cold. Oh, f it is, yeah. Challenge accepted. Might have to title this video how I got hypothermia. Hello. Hello. Are you ready, kids? Oh. Thanks for watching. I love you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's what? It's well, I got to refresh, you know. Try it out. <laughs> okay, guys, have a good one. Okay.